when Adam and Eve fell. I think, <laughs> I don't think I know, that was the saddest day on earth. <laughs> it's not that God just punished them. They did it to themselves. They were made in the image and the likeness of God. Everything else just be. Then Satan came and said, if you eat of this, you will be like God. No, no, no. They were already like God. They were deceived. Eve was deceived and Adam was disobedient. So the only thing that can bring us back to that <laughs> is truth. This is why Jesus came and said, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. Wow. So truth will restore us back to that. But when they fell, it's not like God is sitting there and saying, oh, well, no, you know what happened? Adam and Eve went hiding and God went after them. Adam, where are you? They heard his voice walking in the garden. And that voice is still walking, calling, Adam, where are you? Because God would not let go of his creation. But there is a terrible thing that happened. <clears throat> The earth was cursed, the woman was cursed, the snake was cursed. The earth was cursed to a point where Adam, he said to Adam, now you will get bread from tilling the ground and you will sweat to get it. Whoa, in the garden, they had to eat the fruit of the tree, which is meat. <laughs> now they have to go sweat to get bread. They can't eat meat. Well, what is this? Guys, we have to understand this is spiritual talk. This is spiritual language. Because Moses wrote Genesis 2,500 years after Adam lived. Adam was only created on day six. Time was only created on day four. We have to understand spiritual language. We have to understand time. So <clears throat> Jesus came when he came and he said, my need is to do the will of the Father and to finish it. Then he says in Hebrews 5, meat are for those who have their consciences practiced and their senses practiced to know good and evil. What? What did they mess up with? With the tree of good and evil. So what did they do? They plunged us into eternal choice. Now Jesus came and he said, I choose you. You have not chosen me. I choose you. And this after 4,000 years of history where Moses said, choose today, choose today, choose between life and death. Please choose life. And then what did they do? Elijah came, choose you. John the Baptist, choose. Then Jesus said, now I have chosen you. You are the chosen generation, but let's go back to the curse. And then he said something terrible. He said to man, from dust you are made to dust you go back. What? That is the most terrible thing, just to go back to this dust. And he said to Satan, you will not walk anymore. You will sail in the dust and you will eat dust. That is why death reigned from Adam to Moses. And then the law was given, the command was given, and they, they didn't receive it. Then the law was added. It harnessed death, but it could never take away death. Life could only come by Christ. So this is a terrible, hopeless situation that man found himself in. He had to eat dust. Satan was sailing, eating dust. And man had to bring forth bread from dust. And Satan was sailing, eating dust, killing man all the time. Now, <clears throat> this was a hopeless situation. <laughs> 